Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at BulgarianPod101.com. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to a new episode of BulgarianPod101.com. I'm your host, Daria, and today I'm going to walk you through 10 phrases you always want to hear. So are you ready to start complimenting other people? Let's go! Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. You look great today. Now, it's something that I would like to point your attention on. It's the word strahotno, which is literally translated as scary, by the way, because it uh, derives from the word strašno, which is scary. So, Bulgarians use it in a way of saying great, but it's funny how uh, it sounds when you think about it. You look scary today. And it sounds such a normal thing to say in Bulgarian, by the way. Uh, so use it everywhere you go. You look wonderful today. You look great today. Izgleždaš strahotno dnes. Lipsvaš mi. Lipsvaš mi. I miss you. Yes, this is something uh, either say, say too rarely or we do say excessively. I do encourage everybody to find a balance in it. And this comes from meaning it uh, from your heart. I am going to miss you until the next episode. Ste mi lipsvate. Svrši čudesna rabota. Svrši čudesna rabota. You did a great job. Yes, uh, I do believe that if somebody hears this phrase more often, they're not only going to be flattered, but they will uh, improve their work overall. Svrši čudesna rabota. Ште има bonus v kraju na meseca. Ште има bonus v kraju na meseca. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. It's definitely what everybody would like to hear if they have done a good job. Even if they have not done a good job, it will make them do a better job. Because imagine if you're doing something for many years and you don't receive any kind of appreciation for that. Not even a single small thing. So the bonus is definitely something you should use to make somebody do better work. Ti gotviš prevashodno. Ti gotviš prevashodno. You're an excellent cook. Yes, everybody would like to hear that, even though sometimes you may burn the dish, but your friends are there to support you, so they may be saying, oh, as, as if they're mocking you. Ti si prevashodno. Gotvač, ti gotviš prevashodno. You are an exceptional cook. Uh, well, the more you burn dishes, I know, the better you become as a cook, so please never stop cooking. Počini si. Aš te počistja dnes. Počini si. Aš te počistja dnes. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Open the heart and the doors to every mother's heart. Guaranteed, proof, read and checked and all that. I vie pečelite. I vie pečelite. And you win. I uh, specifically think that if you invest the money you spend on scratch tickets into something else, you are on the winning side of spending your money, for sure. Ti beše prav. Ti beše prav. You were right. Why is it so hard to admit something like that? I don't know, maybe because Bulgarian people, they think they know everything about everything. Uh, from science, to sport, to politics, to anything. Uh, so please say it, uh, even though people are not right. Nosia ti nešto specialno. Nosia ti nešto specialno. I brought you something special. 
it is very intriguing and exciting to hear something like that, isn't it? Uh, unless the special something is a cat and there you can bid farewell to your living room couch. Бюджетът е неограничен. Бюджетът е неограничен. The budget is unlimited. Can you imagine a world where there is no money or, or there is a budget but it's unlimited? What are the things that everybody can do? Everybody can accomplish their dreams no matter how far-fetched are they. You can even uh, go to the end of the universe if there is such. Mm -hmm. So unlimited budget, unlimited dreams, make it happen. I am leaving you for now because we have come to the end of this episode of BulgarianPod101.com. However, I'm looking forward to our next episode. Until then, please let me know which of these 10 phrases you always want to hear you like the best or is there anything you would like to hear personally so I can translate it for you. Add it in the comment section below this video and also find where the red button is somewhere over here. I forgot where it is. It's a red button that says subscribe. Subscribe for this channel to get more videos like this. And we're going to see each other again uh, in the next linguistic adventure. Until then, check the website BulgarianPod101.com for more uh, lessons in Bulgarian. I'm your host, Aria, and I'll see you very soon. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's the matter? After watching this video, you'll be able to make complaints and ask someone else if they're having any issues. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Making Complaints PDF cheat sheet for free. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Какъв е проблемът? В офиса е горещо. Once more with the English translation. Какъв е проблемът? What's the matter? В офиса е горещо. The office is hot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, What's the matter? That's... Какъв е проблемът? Listen to it again. Какъв е проблемът? Какъв е проблемът? This Bulgarian sentence literally translates into What is the problem? But it means What's the matter in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is В офисе Adjective this Bulgarian sentence literally translates into in the office is adverb, but it means the office is adjective in English. For example, the office is hot. F office e goreshto. F office e goreshto. Here are a few more examples you can use with the same pattern to make complaints. Hot. Gorest. Gorest. Cold. Studen. Studen. Noisy. Schumann. Schumann. Dirty. Mrissen. Mrissen. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Какъв е проблемът? В офиса е студено. Какъв 
е проблемът? В офиса е шумно. Какъв е проблемът? В офиса е мръсно. Окей, okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's the matter? Какъв е проблемът? Imagine the office is cold. Do you remember how to say cold? Студен. Студен. Say, the office is cold. В офиса е студено. Now answer the question saying the office is cold. Какъв е проблемът? В офиса е студено. Now imagine the office is noisy. Do you remember how to say noisy? Шумен. Шумен. Say the office is noisy. В офиса е шумно. Now, answer the question saying the office is noisy. Какъв е проблемът? В офиса е шумно. Now imagine the office is dirty. Do you remember how to say dirty? Мръсен. Мръсен. Say, the office is dirty. В офиса е мръсно. Now, answer the question, saying the office is dirty. Какъв е проблемът? В офиса е мръсно. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to make complaints. You are now able to share your concerns like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Make any complaints you may have today. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Want to speak real Bulgarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at bulgarianpod101.com. Does having a study partner help you learn a language faster? For most people, having a friend or romantic partner who is a native speaker of their target language dramatically improves their ability to master the language. In this video, we'll talk about some ways to help you build relationships with people. We'll also talk about three reasons having a native speaker partner can improve your language fluency. First, knowing a native speaker helps you better understand the culture. Knowing a native speaker gets you connected with the culture in ways that no lessons or textbooks ever could. Native speakers are better informed about the latest slang expressions and know interesting places to eat and hang out. Having a friend or partner who is a native speaker can dramatically improve your understanding of the language. In addition to language, you can learn about cultural practices, gestures, and relationships. Second, having a native speaker partner increases your exposure to the language. Practice makes perfect is a well-known expression that is certainly true for language learning. When you have a friend, romantic partner, or study buddy, you speak to them through text messages, phone calls, and basic interaction. These are all opportunities for you to practice the language. Making an effort to practice will help your vocabulary quickly expand beyond simple greetings, flirtatious words, and basic comments to deeper, more meaningful conversations. Third, a supportive partner is the best study aid you can find. We all make mistakes, especially when trying to learn a new language. But if you have a supportive partner, they can gently point out your mistakes and help you find better ways to express yourself. 
And if your native speaker study partner is also your romantic partner, your motivation will likely be even higher than someone who does not have a romantic relationship with a native speaker. Now, let's look at three ways our language learning program helps you learn even faster if you have a native speaker partner. First, all resources and materials are available in English and in your target language. Studying with a partner is special because it's an opportunity for both of you to learn a new language. That's why every single lesson, transcript, vocabulary list, and resource on our website is available in English and in your target language. You can learn from each other. Second, lessons are designed to help you understand and engage with culture. On our website, our focus is to help our students learn practical vocabulary and phrases that are actually used in everyday conversation. This means that from your very first lesson, you can start applying what you learn immediately. So if you want to go out to a restaurant, play games, or attend a social function with your partner, you'll have the vocabulary and phrases necessary to have a great time. Third, access to special resources dedicated to romantic phrases. If your study partner is your romantic partner, we have resources to help you communicate your feelings correctly. Our language learning program has special sections and tools to teach you love words, phrases, and cultural insights. Of course, please remember that simply being in a relationship is no substitute for studying. Communication is key to every relationship, whether romantic or not. If you fail to continue expanding your vocabulary and you stop learning the language on your own, your relationships may suffer or fizzle out. Without question, spending time with native speakers can help you dramatically improve your language proficiency. But this is no replacement for focused studying. It's essential to help facilitate better communication and master the language. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Being able to speak freely with native speakers is an amazing ability in itself. But being able to speak freely to a whole new group of people opens you up to possible new relationships. Most people don't realize that spending the time to build relationships in a foreign language can actually help you improve your language skills dramatically. In this video, we look at how making relationships in a foreign language can help you learn the language faster. The benefits of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's motivational. One of the greatest struggles for anyone learning a second language is motivation. Nine times out of 10, learners start out their language learning journey with loads of enthusiasm, only to see it gradually wane over time. Try as they may, it's difficult to maintain the spark they once shared with their new language. So why not borrow energy from a different part of your life? When you make relationships with people in your target language, all the excitement of a new relationship carries directly over into your learning. Suddenly, you have a very rewarding reason to improve your skills and keep practicing. As your partner or your friends get involved, you will also have the advantage of a constant source of support and encouragement. Second, it makes language learning practical. Studying vocabulary and grammar is a vital part of language learning, whether you use a podcast, textbook, app, or find yourself in a classroom. However, as great as studying is, a language really only starts to come alive once you start using it in everyday life. There's a huge difference between a scripted conversation in a lesson plan and a real-life conversation with a native speaker. Building relationships with native speakers will give you the chance to talk in your target language often. Furthermore, it will be in a way that feels natural. You'll learn the words in the context, which is hugely important. Third, it's fun. One of the greatest benefits is that it allows you to practice without having it feel like practice. Oftentimes, you'll find yourself so wrapped up in the conversation that you forget you're using a foreign language. This takes a lot of the pressure off and helps you focus on communication over trying to speak absolutely perfectly. You also get to learn about a whole new culture from your partner or friends. So you're not only learning language skills, but also about the cultures that surround your target language. The risks of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's easy to miscommunicate. When it comes to relationships, humans can easily misunderstand each other. 
So it can be hard when building relationships in your target language when you or your partner's lack of ability in each other's respective native tongue can lead to miscommunications that would otherwise be avoidable. Depending on the language you're speaking, a simple mistranslation or mispronounced word can drastically change the meaning of a sentence. As long as you can afford each other some extra patience and the benefit of the doubt, then you should be able to overcome this pitfall. Second, your language skills could suffer if your relationships don't work out. If all your language practice is wrapped up in one person and your relationship with that person doesn't work out, then your language learning could take a big hit. So it's best not to put all your hopes for language growth on one area, relationship or otherwise. You don't want to risk losing motivation, so try to find it in many different areas. An idea for building relationships in a foreign language. Make games out of getting to know one another. Sometimes, opening up in any new friendship or partnership can be hard. Add in the added struggle of a new language and it can feel impossible to share your true feelings with others. So instead of trying to take first interactions so seriously and talking about the usual things like the weather or work, try to ask new, interesting questions. Try to figure out what the other person's hobbies are without asking directly, or what kind of job they have. This will give you a chance to stretch your language skills in a new way, and you'll probably get some funny answers out of it too. Being comfortable being silly or making language mistakes is a great way to bond with someone, even if you've just met. Relationships in a foreign language have a lot more benefits to offer than drawbacks. Don't be scared to open up to people and make mistakes. And for even more help to build relationships in your target language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. Do you know how to say, I love you in Bulgarian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Obicham te. Obicham te. Obicham te. Or, if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say, Padam si putep. Padam si putep. Padam si putep. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say, Z dumi ne može da se upiše ljubovta mi kam tep. Z dumi ne može da se upiše ljubovta mi kam tep. Z dumi ne može da se upiše ljubovta mi kam tep. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Bulgarian. And if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to download your free Romance and Love Cheat Sheet, which includes romantic words, compliments, and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to BulgarianPod101.com now. See you next time. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.